of heaven, a government. An ambassador is not a religious creature. It's a political appointment. And you are ambassadors of Christ. Ambassadors carry, let me tell you something about ambassadors. It's very important. In the book I talk about this. Ambassadors are not religious people. And the scriptures, this, can I use another term? Yes. This constitution says that we are ambassadors of Christ. That means we've been appointed by the government of heaven to represent the kingdom of heaven on earth. So say what you're going to say about the ambassador. An ambassador is not a person. I want to know what I am. That's why I just yeah. asked him that. An ambassador is not a person. And we got some in this room. You know, we got a number of people who were ambassadors officially of government. They will tell you this. An ambassador is an embodiment of a country. Whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Say that again. Yes. An ambassador is an embodiment of a country. He carries the country. He is the country. Let me explain what I mean. Very important. Because it helps you understand how great your power is, but you don't realize it. If you are a parliamentarian or a congressman or a senator, you're not really great. The ambassador is greater than you. Wow. If, if I had a choice between being an ambassador versus a parliamentarian, a congressman, a senator, or city councilman, I'd go for being an ambassador for important reasons. One, when you appoint an ambassador, you've made that person a walking country. Number two, you take over their lives completely. An ambassador pays no bills. <laughs> the minute the government appoints you an ambassador, the government becomes responsible for your food, your clothes, your ride, your cars, your houses, your killed children's tuition. In other words, your life becomes the property of the government. That's amazing. That's why Jesus said to the disciples, why do you worry what you will eat, what you will drink, what you will wear? He My said, God, whoa. are making my goosebumps feel goosebumps right now. Wow. You know, you've, you've answered so many questions, and we got three minutes left, and we got to go on tomorrow. I want to ask you tomorrow what Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you. Absolutely. What that means. I had no idea an ambassador. Can I have a praise break? Thank you, Jesus. I had no idea that an ambassador had more authority than one who is a member of parliament. An if you slap an ambassador... If you slap an ambassador, what happens? Watch this. Two minutes, let's close on Please. Okay. If I'm a citizen and you're an ambassador, same country, uh -huh. if someone slaps me, it is, called, it is called an assault or an insult. An right. assault or an insult. But if they slap you as an ambassador, then the word changes. It is called an international incident. Whoa. 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 So that's what Jesus meant when he says, if anyone offends you, it is better for them to tie a rope around their necks. Why? Because they are touching a country and the government is going to come and take care of them. My God. <laughs> Listen, you cannot miss.